And I have a question about improvisation. I was going to ask what your opinion on uh, scale or, scale or improvisation versus playing the changes and how that relates to horizontal and verticalness of your solo. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see, who could answer that? <laughs> who wants to answer that? Ted or Vic? Ted, you want to answer that? OK. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I, think I, heard of, I think I heard everything you said. The improvisation is amazing. It's an amazing opportunity for us to really explore who we are in different ways. Um, but just as a technical thing, scales, chords, you know, harmony, it's such a, it's such a big part of, of our tools, of what we use to, to express something, to create something, to create melodies. Basically, if we remind ourselves that we're not just playing notes that work, we're, we're using the scales and the chords to, to create melodies, basically. If you listen to Coltrane, even the most complicated solos, you always come back to blues and melody in his playing. I like, kind of like to break it down in a couple of ways. There's a global way and there's a local way to, to, um, to, uh, to approach it. Like, a, a global way is where you create melodies. We're talking about Joe's changes. It's kind of like where you almost ignore the chords uh, for, you know, and default to playing melodies and phrases that are bigger and more global and take into account something broader than just the chords and the scales and the cadences and the implications of the cadences. But, um, the, the local way is where we address the individual chords for what they are and all the implications they have, five to one, one to four, sharp 11, things like that, those kind of technical things. So really, basically, when you're practicing and you're working on this music, you should go back and forth between a more technical and, and harmonic approach of a local way of looking at it, looking at what the chords are, the function of the chords, why they're there, really analyze it, and then also forget about all that and just try to make melodies that fit over the top of everything, too. So if you practice both those things, you'll develop an instinct for having both the complicated and depth, depth to your solos, but plus having melody and blues in it. That's how I would approach it. I hope I, I didn't hear all of your question, but I think that was a lot of it, right? Yeah, that makes, that makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. That's, that's great. Unders, understand all the perspectives. Like, I like how his use of the word global, too. Like that there's something beyond the technical aspect. It's a spiritual thing. And then also, there's, so that way you're not inept. Because you may have the technical, you may have a very great understanding of a global feeling, but you may be technically inept and not want to spend the time it takes. Or you may be very focused on, uh, but you may not want to hear. So 